हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टुडे वी विल बी लुकिंग एट टिक प्रोग्रामिंग स्पेसिफिकली द पीआईसी 16F886 विद पिकिट 3 फॉर दिस वी नीड अ ब्रेडबोर्ड अ फ्यू जंपर वायर एंड अ एलईडी ऑलमोस्ट फॉरगॉट द यूएसबी केबल फॉर द पिकिट 3 Take your IC and place it onto the breadboard firmly, making sure it has seated properly. Now take your picket three and jumper wires. Connect the five jumper wires from the pin which is being pointed by an arrow. First pin is MCLR, then VDD or VCC, and the next pin is VSS or ground. and the fourth pin is ICS PDAT or program data pin and the last pin is ICSP CLK which is program clock and the sixth pin is low voltage programming which will not be needing in this uh, video now connect the ic to the programmer we need to follow the pin diagram from the microchip company This pin diagram is given by microchip and will be connecting the other ends of the jumper wire to the pins marked here. And always double check your connection before powering on. Later you will see I made a mistake while connecting the wires to the IC. Connect the USB cable to the picket 3 and your computer. Now to program the IC we will be needing two things. First, the MPLAB XIDE and MPLAB XC compiler. Specifically, the XC8 compiler as our IC is 8 bit. Both of which can be found on their website. Moving on, now we need to create a project. Select microchip embedded and application project. Next, we choose a PIC IC we are using from the list here. which is pic 16f886 and under the tool uh, choose pick it 3 after that we select the xc8 compiler which we need to install beforehand this step let's name the project blink as we gonna program the ic to blink and led it finish it may take some time depending on your system once it has finished right click on the source file and create main.c file name the file main as the extension will automatically be added now the main file is ready we can move on to the coding part from the above window tab select the target memory view and then configuration bits a window will pop down below in here you need to change few of the settings follow the changes which i am doing here on display After making the changes hit generate button below which will generate the important config settings which we will need to copy and paste into the main c file After that we need to write some more important lines to set the internal clock to 4 megahertz in the main function uh, write OSCC ON bits dot IRCF equals to zero B one one zero, which uh, sets the internal clock to run at four megahertz. After that, to set a pin as the output, we can use TRISA, where A is the I/O port A, and followed by the pin number, which is five. So TRISA five equal to zero, which means output. and uh, next to do blink indefinitely we declare a while loop with one and inside the while loop we write the blink logic to turn on and off the pin we declared as an output just assign it a value uh, one or zero as high or low after writing the code click on the hammer button to clean and build the entire project and below you should see build successful is every if everything is okay till now now we open up the mplab ipe through which we will upload the hex code onto the ic on opening the ipe go to settings and enter into the advanced mode the default password is microchip 
check the box and set the voltage to 5 volt as i see we are using is capable of using 5 volt coming back to the main menu here we select the ic which we are using which is eic 16f886 and tool is ticket 3 hit connect and you see that we have encountered an error let's see what's the problem here the pins are tight and the connections on the breadboard looks good too Oh, I see what is, what is the problem now. You see, I have swapped the data and the ground ground pin on the ticket uh, side. Thankfully, it was a ground pin. If it were VDD or any other pin, I might have damaged something on here. Always check your connection. Always double check your connections. Now let's connect the LED using a jumper wire and to the pin RF5 according to the pin diagram. Now press connect and you should see it is now found the IC that we are using and browse the hex file and select it. After selecting it, I hit the program button and wait for it to finish uh, the flashing it on the IC. And there you go, you see the LED has started blinking at 500 millisecond delay as we have mentioned in the program. Now let's uh, do one thing, let's decrease the delay to 100 ms on the both delays in the main program and repeat the same process which is build and flashing of the IC. And you see the LED is flashing more faster now as we have decreased the delay from uh, 500 ms to 100 ms. So as you can see it is that much easy to go run these peak ICs. And this is for this video and we'll see in the next one.